Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did some quests. So here, let's do some more. Now I want to fight these parallaxes here because I believe the parallaxes here in the Fallen Arm do have items I need for Colony 6 reconstruction. So I just want to fight a few of them now and I'll probably fight a few more off screen or whatever I get the opportunity. I believe they do have items I need eventually for Colony 6 reconstruction. But we must be yeah, I think it's the fish meat is what I want. Really, Ricky, you're in... You're considered deep enough that you're not gonna fight. Right now to self, if I decide to grind these guys for colony six items, do not have Ricky. <laughs> Despite him fighting earlier, apparently this is deep enough for him. Or he won't be helpful whatsoever. Also, looked up uh, anti mech on weapons. Um, yeah, none of these weapons are anti mech on. These would be good if I'm planning on fighting regular enemies later, but because we're going to be fighting a lot of mech on, they're not going to be useful. Basically, anti mech on weapon has to either have anti mech on in its name, or has to have the ma or or has machina in its in its name. And because neither of those what and neither of Dumbad's better swords have either of those in his name, he, they do not count as anti mech on. I believe we got a few quests to turn in. Let's do just that. How's it going? The other day I met another Homs just outside the village. Looks like we aren't the only ones who survived. His name is Firdo. Oh, and he was a member of the recon squad. I never met him, but I've heard all sorts of good things about him. You went, you went already? Wow, that was quick. What was that? What's that? A fish? For me? Aw, how thoughtful of him. It's just like Fido to be thinking of others. He's a kind soul. Maybe if he makes this into a soup, maybe if I make this into a soup, I'll get better soon. Glad everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance. Dance, no fun dance. No fun dance. Wonder what like that will go like. Okay then. I'm gonna get some rest so I can get back to work tomorrow. You took the food owed to Fido for Naruto and helped Fido return the favor. Your Gemini boots, what are they like? Ooh, they're medium. Yeah, I can put that on Shulk. Let's report in that we've killed those mech on. At least that we killed the broken mech yes. on. So you've done it. Now I, we can leave the village in safety. Glad everything worked out. Well done. Well done to us. We Machina will never forget what you've done for us. I know that's no thanks will ever be enough, but please take this. You dealt with the mech on that was attacking the villagers. Things should be peaceful now. We get the combo um, cutlass, which is a pretty cool sword. 
Second turn, Mythical, one of the sharpest soul orbs of them all, but I don't think this has anti mech on properties. I'll probably look into it. But yeah. Pretty cool sword overall. Okay, let's leave the village. I have to walk all the way around just to get to the to this exit. Good, there's some prototypes here we can kill. We need to kill another five. Got affinity boost. Now you can see there's a heart to heart over here. If I remember correctly, this heart to heart I believe is next to a fast travel point because look what it is. The Black Wreckage. This, if you can't tell, is the remains of Monkar. So here's where he landed. And you may be interested in why it's calling it the Black Wreckage. Believe it or not, Monkar in Japanese, he, when he's Metal Face, in Japanese he is called Blackface. <laughs> I am not joking when I say that. So... They changed it to Metal Face for very obvious reasons. We need max affinity between Dunban and Melia, so we're not getting that for a while, but yeah. Uh, Monkar's uh, corpse is a fast travel point, and yeah. A bit of trivia for you, that if you're playing the Japanese version, when he's Metal Face, he's known as Blackface. You can understand why they changed that when they released this in the West. Because him being called Blackface, when admittedly he doesn't look all that black as as Metal Face, and the fact that Metal and uh, the fact that Monkar is is, is dark toned in his skin, he's more black. He has uh, darker skin. Calling him Blackface could be seen as um, a bit racist, and it could also be reference to the whole blackface thing that was going on I think in the early was it the 80s or 90s that, that was a thing where like comedy actors would like uh, paint their faces like black and like do comedy tricks and whatnot uh, which I believe actually became a proper style in Japan it's not considered um yeah it's not considered something offensive in Japan they actually embrace it as a uh, type of style. But yeah, in the West, you can understand why they didn't keep the name. But we mustn't be careless. And while we're here, we'll grab the unit. And it summoned over the Splatendus Boyus. You Ricky go. Get Shaker Edge off. Yeah. 
can't come back. Let's keep up the pressure. Alright. For another chain attack. Timing is everything. Remember that. We did it. Your quality jet. What did it drop? Graph rifle, earth boots, freezenade. That looks like is that a level 10 art book for freezenade? It is. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, also skills. Um, Shulk is close to learning this. Dunban looks like he's just started on this, so he's almost done with bravery. Um, Ricky complete adversity, so I put him down flexibility. Ryan's almost complete with this, and she's starting on her last skill in honesty. Just need to kill one more prototype. Which I see a prototype all the way off in the distance. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Alright. Time for a chain attack. I'm really feeling it. Don't get careless, We can definitely do this. Good job, everyone. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad. So we killed 10, so we can report this in. Ah, oh, you're back. Great. It's the Electro O Upa Tears. I better hurry up and make the plant food. Come on, my little flower, you can make it. Wow, look at it. It's back to its old self. It's even bigger than before, just like Volok said. Let everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance, dance, no pun dance. No pun dance. I wonder what that would go like. You guys have been so great. I really want to thank you. Ah, I know. Take this key. It's been laying around the house for about 10 years now. I've forgotten what it's for. Take it. It's yours. So we get the Mekonis key. This key can be used to unlock various things. On the fallen armor, I believe even the Mekonis itself. So it's good to have this. The flower you swiftly recovered and... Rinsaka seems overjoyed to see it. Alright, so let's report in that we've done the quests. Yes. Rinsaka's mechanical flower has made a full recovery. I'm so glad. No one likes seeing their friends upset. Welcome. This is the second time you saved the village for me. I'll never forget that. Now the village is truly safe. I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you. Glad everything worked out. We did a good job. Let's dance, dance, no pun dance. No pun dance. Wonder what that would go like. As thanks for everything you've done for me, please take this. It's a collection of research notes left behind by my father. It looks like it's something to do with the Monado. Since the Monado is so important to you, I'm sure it will be useful. Research nerds left, left behind by the, I, her father, who was studying the Monado. Reduce the numbers of the Beckon and the villagers are saved. We get armor records. So, let's go to our arts. We learned Monado armor, one of the best Monado arts that we can get for Shulk. It is a secret art, so you have to do this side quest in order to get it. You can go through the entire game and never see this art. But Monado armor. What makes it so great? Well, it is basically a better Monado shield. 
The Monado armor protection protection reduces physical and ether damage. Um so yeah, it basically be able to cover things that the Monado shield cannot cover. So Monado shield can only cover talent arts. It cannot protect you from most physical attacks and ether based damage. This is now a perfect counter if you want to deal with ill with art with attacks that are either physical and damage or ether and damage. This also, unlike Monado's shield, actually affects the entire party, already unlike shield where it's single target. So when you use this, everyone benefits from the Monado armor. So it is really good. The only downside is that it does eat up pretty much the entirety of the talent gauge. It uses up, I think, the same amount of talent gauge as Monado Buster would. But Monado armor is really good. You want to have that. Now, I think she does have another quest, but I think we have to wait a little bit before she gives it to us. Feeding the large Mekon made the others go wild. It's been a bit of a scary time. Thanks to you, the village is much safer. Because I know she has a quest that involves this guy right here. Hi there. I'm worried about Iplana. Oh, yeah, no point in salvaging for a living. Better just bury stuff. I wish I could bury myself. That would be the best thing. Okay, I think we have to get that line of dialogue and then she has the quest. Welcome. Excuse me, have you seen Iz lately? He's been acting strangely. Would you go into more detail? But Ricky thought a shock know everything about everything. Not this time, Ricky. We just have to listen. I really need to talk to someone about this. He's been saying and doing some unusual things lately. Shouting things at random or suddenly breaking out into a dance. He never used to act this way. It, w it would have been unthinkable. If you see him, would you mind talking to him for me? I'd like to hear the thoughts of someone from outside the village. Sudden shout out and dance? Not strange at all! Ricky want to shout and dance with new friend is... <laughs> you're, you're are, you are an odd one. Perhaps if you talk to him, it will trigger some kind of change in Iz. Please talk to him if you get the chance. Stress has caused Iz to start acting strangely. Everyone is worried about him. Talk to Iz and see if there's a way to help him. Hopefully you can help Iz step out of this. No problem, leave it to me. If Shulk put his mind to it, Ricky know he succeed. Rely on you too, Ricky. Now I forget if you have to talk to him as Ricky or if you can speak to him as anybody, but you need to talk to him a few times. Huh, what's up? Wanna help me dig a hole? Gotta dig a massive hole to bury all the bad things. Burials! Burials! Can't beat a good burial! Bury all the bad things! Bury to forget! Forget and never remember! That's the way to do it! Hi there. You're asking me why I bury stuff? Cause I don't want to think about all, all the bad things, of course. If you're gonna get in the way, go oh, and do something else. What are you lot playing at? What are you doing hanging around out here and annoying me? What Elsa sent you? She can mind her own business. Stop interfering with me. Hi there. You are persistent, I'll give you that much. Ain't no one ever harassed me as long as you lot. Don't worry, I'm alright now. Made me feel better to get all that off my chest. I feel responsible for all the stuff that Eagle did. How can I forget if how can I be forgiven for all the lives lost? I can't be forgiven. There's only one thing to do. Dig and bury. Hi there. You again. What are you hounding me for? Oh yeah, Elika put you up to it. Yeah, I understand. I started to calm down a bit. Alright, I understand. If you say that at, at, and you're or from Bionis, I ain't gonna doubt you. I will stop trying to forget all the bad things and focus on the future. Yeah, you're right, of course. I can't promise I'll change straight away. I'll see what I can do. Welcome. Ah, I see. It did seem as though there was something on his mind. The pain of what Ego has done has affected him terribly. But I don't have to worry anymore. Is is back to his old self. 
Glad everything worked out. Excellent job, Stroke. You're really growing up fast. But really? That means a lot coming from you. I won't let you down. You've been an amazing help. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Is is cheered up because you because you as you listen to his woes. Okay, so there's still things uh, to hunt. Let's get out there. And I... I keep forgetting that I, the walkway is not down here. It's up here. And there's somebody out here on the beach. I think it's just a random villager, so... So let's see what's out here that I need to kill. Ah, more offensive units. Beat it up. Just need to kill one more offensive unit. One on this side. Backslash. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. I think that should be all the monsters. So yeah, let's go back to the village. Thanks to you, the threat facing our village is much smaller. However, the fine-tuning this weapon is still a priority. Okay, back to the drawing board. You see, this gun isn't just a waste of metal, it's an opportunity. I can completely remodel it and make a weapon anyone can use. Glad everything worked out. Me too, a resounding success. I'll give it my best shot, no pun intended. We ensured the safety of the village for Kazakh. But something is still on his mind. I need to be even stronger. Which we can't do because I think we have to either progress the story a little bit or I need more affinity in the area. Speaking of, how is affinity in this area? Ooh, free star affinity. When you have free star affinity, we want to go and see the Machna over here. Now, I don't know if I have an item I can trade for it yet, but he has something we want. What do you need? I believe it's this. Okay, yes, I do. Uh, let's give a... Yeah, star cute. Get the angel engine Y. See you. And this item is special because if we go to our collectopedia, go to the other page, You'll see that the engine weapon, the angel engine Y, is for the other page. A machine designed to look like an angel or a lighting. A lightning. So there's just three items left to collect for the other tab.
So we can get those last free items. Then we will complete the other page. And I believe the last free items are surprisingly, I think, can be located in Colony 6. But I believe... I don't know if we can get one of them at the moment, but I don't think we can get the other two. Because I think it's either the NPCs that give them to you are not invited to Colony 6 yet, or... Um, the affinity towards Colony 6 isn't high enough. It's one of the two. Oh, there was a chest here I missed. Okay. I'm a bit surprised by that. No, that's not. There we go. We got the unit. Let's return to junks. To quickly grab these items. Yeah, we'll finally get Fiora and then we'll probably explore more of this area once we have Fiora back. Ooh, and a quest is open up. We'll quickly go and accept that. Welcome. I don't know what to do. The schedule inspection is just around the corner, but I have a bad feeling that something is going to go wrong. Could you go into more detail? But Ricky thought Shulk know everything about everything. Not this time, Ricky. We just have to listen. You will listen? Oh, thank you. Here's, here's the thing. I'm in charge of inspecting the Ether exhaust system, but I'm almost certain something will go wrong this time. I have a sense for these things. I'm not sure something terrible is going to go wrong this year. It comes around once every 10 years. So, it's, so I suppose I can skip it just this once, but it doesn't feel right. So will you go check on the Ether, uh, Ether exhaust system for me? I'll be so grateful. The, Ether, the exhaust system is inspected every 10 years. See, Kit, it has a bad feeling about it this year's inspection. Go and check on the exhaust system for her. I'm so glad. I do just like to check act that out. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. If any, if everything seems all right, then I'll carry out the proper inspection. No problem. Leave it to me. Hiropon will show you what he can do. So let's go and do the inspection now. Where the hell is it? Uh, I think this here's the exhaust. Yeah, so we'll do that and then we'll uh, get the electric. Uh, go see Fiora in the next episode. Okay, here's the question how the hell do I get up there? I will say, it's not that convenient to get to the exhaust point for the inspection if you have to swim your way there. Hey, this door open. And here, and here we have the evil baton. Let's take it on. Days off. Do a chain attack. Shit. Did it too early. Evil Baden is killed. Attack and finish this. We can definitely do this. 
The noise canceller. And two Mechon will suddenly show up in here. Well, that actually looks good. Ooh, that looks really good on Ricky. Let's go report this in. Welcome. Mechon, we're in the Ether, Ether Exhaust System. If I have gone alone as scheduled, thank you. Thank you so much. I might have never made it out of there if I had not sent you ahead. Glad everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance, dance, no pawn, dance. A no pawn dance. I wonder what that would go like. If this is going to happen every time I go and expect the plate, I wish it was scheduled to take place every 100 years. Then I would not have the panic egg attack. Egg, I would only have a panic attack once every century. There were mech on in the exhaust system. You've dealt with them, so see Kit and Idney, not worry. So with that, we'll end the episode here, and in the next episode, we'll go and check on Fiora. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later!